Welcome back. You know, a common dilemma with the M1 Garand and the M14, M1A style rifle is how to make a windage correction to this front sight. Let's step over to the bench and I'll show you how easy it is and how it can be done very precisely with click adjustments, believe it or not. Now, as I promised you, we're going to do the front sight adjustment with click adjustments. Well, sort of. Let's examine what we have here for your windage marks. You've got eight hash marks. You've got eight graduations on this scale. Four on each side of the center point, and the center point is much more bold than the others. Each of these graduations represents four clicks on your windage, on your windage knob. So you've got a total of 32 inches of travel extreme left to extreme right. That's your at 100 yards. That's 32 inches, 16 inches on each side, four per four clicks per graduation. Go to the range and get your rifle sighted in using your windage knob to place yourself on paper. When you're done, you may have ended up with a three inch correction to the left hand side in order to bring your shots over to the center of the bullseye. Leave that, leave that where it is. Jot that down too so that you don't forget it. You've moved it three inches. That also means that you've moved it 30 thousandths of an inch. Each click represents 10 thousandths of an inch, 40 thousandths of an inch per graduation. Write that down so you don't forget it. I really prefer to do this precision work at a, at a bench at home where I have plenty of, uh, you know, solid surface to work off of a vise. I've got good lighting and I can use my micrometer without trying to struggle with things at a, uh, at a range or out in the field. Now very conveniently, each of those clicks represents exactly ten thousandths of an inch of travel. In other words, the, the, the rear sight is moving ten thousandths of an inch for each click. So I want to take my dial calipers and these you can use dial calipers, vernier calipers or uh, digital calipers. Make sure that you have make sure you have a uh, depth gauge at this end right here so that you can make actual measurements and adjustments. Remember that your front sight chases the bullet hole. Your rear sight, you move in the direction that you wish your bullets to strike. Our goal is to move this front sight by 30 thousandths of an inch to the, to the right. In other words, we moved our rear sight to the left by 30 thousandths, three clicks. We want to move this front sight to the right 30 thousandths by three clicks. We have to find out, first of all, what the difference is between this initial overhang and our desired overhang because we don't want to just start moving things and loosen things up until we know what this overhang is. We have to have a base uh, from which to move. So we're going to take this set of calipers right here. I'll loosen up this thumb nut right here so that uh, the calipers can move and I'll extend I'll extend that I'll extend that depth gauge right there and position it right at the junction of the uh, base of the dovetail. Make sure it's absolutely perpendicular to the rifle barrel and just slide it straight in until it contacts to a dead stop. And my measurement is 0 0.060. It's pretty much 0 0.60. 061 it's it's that's as close as you want to get so because remember each is ten thousandths of an inch represents one inch on paper so that's that's a fine adjustment right there so 0 0.060 is my actual measurement so i write that down 0 0.060 0 60 thousandths of an inch and i want to subtract i want to subtract zero three zero thirty thousandths of an inch and it comes out to zero three zero so I want to have a zero three zero overhang 
Now the first thing that we do is we open up our calipers to 30 thousandths of an inch and set your, set your set screw so that it won't change. Loosen up your front sight set screw and you can use Allen wrenches or you can use, I have a, a screwdriver bit type of deal. Loosen it up just enough so that you can slide it with your fingers all the way over to the right hand side. Now your depth gauge at this end right here, it's, remember it's secured by the, your, your thumb nut. Press that against the front sight above the dovetail until you've got your 30 thousandths or whatever your dimension is. I'll bring this in so you can see closely. Move it over flush. Position your depth gauge at the base of the dovetail and slide it over. Be sure to be perpendicular and level and then just simply tighten up that, tighten up that screw firmly. And be sure it's good and firm because these, these front sights, uh, it takes a little bit of pressure in order to secure it on that dovetail. So there we go. You don't need to use, don't use any forceful techniques on this. Don't use a wrench because if you strip that, you're in trouble. Well, there you go. It doesn't get any simpler. That's the correct way to make your front sight windage corrections permanently for your ammunition. And be sure to return that rear sight to its dead center position. You're going to make all your field adjustments with your rear sight. This is only a one-time deal for whenever you make uh, major changes to your ammunition. So, if you're interested in how to uh, whiten your graduations like that, and also how to calibrate your rear sight elevation, be sure to check out the video that I did a little while ago on that process. Uh, and that'll show you in, in detail how that's easily accomplished. And uh, I appreciate all my Patreon donors uh, for all the assistance that you've given me to help bring these videos to you. We've got a lot more to do, I hope. And uh, Benny right now is up in front of the wood stove lounging out on this uh, kind of a frosty morning. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell too. God bless.